Hi, my name is Gabriel, Product Manager at Canonical. Welcome to this webinar about Ubuntu Core. Ubuntu Core empowers device makers to scale by eliminating the burden of software maintenance, simplifying complex security implementations, and overcoming the challenges of managing a fleet of devices. Its fully containerized architecture brings immutability to the OS. Each element of the system, kernel, distro, application, is a complete standalone component. With a strict kernel-enforced confinement, every element can be transactional and independently updated, with over-the-air updates through deltas and rollbacks. These work in both connected and air-gap environments. Ubuntu Core is the OS designed with security in mind, so you don't need to worry about disabling physical interfaces like Ethernet or USBs, removing default users and permissions, hardening your kernel configuration, or final user escaping your app confinement. Out of the box, you will be able to access and innovate with the same tooling used today by large international manufacturing organizations, deploying hundreds of secure devices to their customers with 12 years of security maintenance. And because Ubuntu Core uses the same kernel, the same base libraries, and the same system software as Ubuntu Desktop, you have a smooth transition from development on Ubuntu Desktop to production with Core. Whether you develop your application in Ubuntu using C++, Rust, Python, or more, whatever tech stack you use, Ubuntu Core lets you ship production images for your applications. With a rich ecosystem of open source applications available in the Snap Store, it is easy for developers to build their production images with the favorite tools from MQTT brokers, telemetry agents, DDS, system monitoring, feed management, and more. You can draw on ecosystem of dozens of snaps directly on your device today. If you want to bring cloud intelligence to your device, the Microsoft Azure IoT Edge snap allows you to easily connect your Edge devices to Azure cloud services for a fully managed service. Snaps like Netbird make it easy to create secure private networks for your device to access. Snaps, like Ubuntu Frame, enable developers building application with a graphic user interface to enable a reliable display server with all the functionality that end users expect while interacting with digital displays. These include input from touch screen with a wide array of gestures, on-screen keyboard, remote desktop monitoring, and power-saving displays. This is ideal for those building digital kiosk devices points of sales, or any other device with a user interface. Let's look at some companies using Ubuntu Core. Companies like Proto are using Ubuntu Frame and Ubuntu Core in order to revolutionize communication with the world's first holographic communication platform. Ubuntu Core serves as the reliable OS for BeWell CE Mark Health Kiosk in hospitals across the EU, a company that is empowering people with chronic conditions to live better and healthier lives. Ubuntu Core serves as the OS for Bosch Rexroth line of industrial PLCs and gateways, as they deliver automation solutions for the modern factory. And the sky is the limit, quite literally. Lone Star, a data service and infrastructure company, made history by conducting a full data storage test from the moon surface. Ubuntu Core was chosen to serve as the lightweight by performance OS, as they pursue their goal of safeguarding humanity's data. You can learn more about these fascinating use cases and story by visiting our website. With each Ubuntu Core release, we help our community push the boundaries for IoT and edge devices. If you look at Ubuntu Core, there are three main elements you should focus on. First, our Linux kernel, which is the same kernel as Ubuntu LTS kernel. For Ubuntu Core 22, it's the same as Ubuntu 22.04. For Ubuntu Core 24, it's the same as 24.04, and so on. Second, the minimal OS. This is the base snaps and provides the runtime environment with a minimal set of libraries that are common to most applications. Base snap also mirrors Ubuntu LTS releases. Core 20 is built from Ubuntu 20.04, Core 18 from Ubuntu 18.04, and so on. It serves as the root file system for the Ubuntu core system. And third, your application sits on top. All elements in Ubuntu core run isolated confined with a strict kernel enforced rule using the snaps. Therefore, there is a clean separation between all of these elements, maintaining the integrity of the operating system. 
while allowing the, the applications to function normally in their sandbox. To build your Ubuntu core image with your target applications and hardware, you just need to complete a model assertion, a declarative JSON file. This file is the recipe for your production image, specifying the application, kernel, base OS, and other necessary components that make your standalone image. Ubuntu Core comes with canonical 12 years LTS commitment, matching the lifetime of your device. It also provides security features like full disk encryption and secure boot. Ubuntu Core Security Posture helps you comply with your cybersecurity requirements like the CRA, Cyber Resilience Act. So once you have developed your application in Ubuntu Desktop using whatever tech stack you like, you just have to package your application using snaps and declare your model assertion. Ubuntu Image, a tool to generate bootable images, will then generate your dedicated Ubuntu Core image, and you are ready to provision it to your devices. This is an important concept. You don't unload Ubuntu Core. You build your production images. This allows device makers to cut the factory installation time needed per device to meet demands for accelerated rollouts and secure global supply chains. Provisioning devices can be painful and costly endeavor for device makers as you scale your deployments at scale and spending an hour configuring each device is no longer an option. With Ubuntu Core, you don't need to play around with system setting, worrying about pop-up dialogs, screen lockup times, or simply not bringing the user experience that you want. No more manuals over copying and pasting, and no more endless shell scripts or additional steps for your final user. Once your user boot the device, they will see the app you want them to see. For example, your Gen AI application. On the left, the building snaps that make your Ubuntu core image. On the top, we have the model, together with the Python script that takes the video input and runs it through the model. CUDA runtime is its separate snap to facilitate a modular deployment. Here, in this example, we are using the Core24 base and its respective kernel. Ubuntu Core also offers integration with Landscape, canonical system management tool, and Microsoft Azure IoT Edge, as well as other third-party device management tools. This open device management approach allows device makers to integrate their existing system management tools or approach that best suits their needs. To use Landscape, you just need to add the Landscape client snap to your core image. With Landscape, you can monitor devices and receive warnings when a device has been offline for a prolonged period of time. You can also see device processes, CPU usage, and memory information, along with other basic observability metrics. Landscape provides CVE notification and a dashboard showing how many devices in your fleet need an update. You can even use Landscape to connect directly to the device and the back from the console. For more information, visit the Landscape webpage. But if you're using Azure Cloud Infrastructure, simply add the Azure Edge IoT Snap for a direct connection to your Azure portal. We design every aspect of Ubuntu Core to create an embedded Linux that is designed for robust security. The snaps run in isolation. They can still access system resources without requiring privileged flags, breaking the sandbox, or dealing with IP configuration issues. And they do this through interfaces. There are more than hundreds of interfaces maintained by Canonical that allow or deny a snap to securely and easily access resources outside of its confinement. These include access to the GPIO pin, some playback or recording, network, your home directory, your device power settings, and more. For more information, visit the supported interfaces documentation. Plus, snaps come with several features for the deployment of software, like over-the-air updates, AV updates, or automatic rollback if an update fails or is interrupted. All of these features apply to each element of your Ubuntu core image, making it truly self-healing, fully read-only, and cryptographically signed device. Let's walk through a basic snapcraft YAML file, the project file that defines how your app gets packaged as a snap. At the top, metadata. They indicate things such as the snap name, a short description, its version, base, etc. Then, the app section defines how your app runs inside the snap. Command is the actual command to execute the app. 
blocks gives your app permission to access resources like network or user files. The part section is how you build your app. Each part uses a plugin, here the Python plugin, and points to a code source. Plugins handle setting up the built environment. That's it, a minimal clean Snapcraft YAML file. Simple structure, human readable, and gets your app ready to ship in a secure, portable Snap. Now, let's look at a slightly more advanced Snapcraft YAML. This one defines a Snap that runs a ROS2 application, common for robotics developers. The metadata section is familiar, basic metadata, confinement, and base. Just like before, it's defining what the Snap is and the environment it runs in. The part section builds the application. Here, it's using the Colcom plugin, a tool often used in robotic builds. It is also pulling a specific subdirectory from a GitHub repo and adds extra stage packages necessary at runtime. This shows how a Snap can target a specific branches and a path from a repo. In the app section, we see a few new things. The command is more complex, launching a Python script, using raw CLI tools from inside the Snap. Plugs give this app access to the network and allow it to open ports, common in connected devices and scenarios. And here's something new, extensions. Extensions simplify the setup for certain ecosystems, like ROS, GNOME, or KDE, by abstracting away some boilerplate setup. In this case, ROS2 JC sets up the ROS PPA, pulls in the right environment variables and dependencies automatically. So, what's different here? You are seeing how a snap for devices or robotics might be structured. Custom commands, extensions, and more granular control, but still using the same YAML foundation. Whether it's a Python tool or a robotic stack, the structure stays consistent. And once packaged, you are ready to build your core image. This is your journey from development to production. We are proud to be part of your team as you build a new generation of smart edge devices. We can't wait to see what you deploy next. Thank you. And if you want to start building your first Ubuntu core image today, please just head to our documentation and follow our tutorial.